Hello, everybody, and welcome to the madness that is the Royale Ultima Finals Game 2 between Angel FM and Sightown, and boy, do we have a doozy tonight. It's 2019 tournament flags, but with the sword upgrades taken away, and with everything having max HP, and by max HP, I mean 15, not plus minus 4, with everything get guaranteed plus 4. I am Elso, and I'm joined here in the booth by Tracy. Elso! I yes. mean, we had madness yesterday because you know sprite shuffle and all sorts of other weird. I think there was a, I think a weird was on and and yeah, other other things. But like combat, zero HP, perma sword beams. No, not today. <laughs> nope. Sideshow says no. You're in my world now. I'm picking the flags. Angel picked yesterday's flags. You're in my world now, and I'm gonna make you do combat. So we could be in here for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh... I'm hoping that a lot of the combat in this seed is relatively optional in terms of the rooms with large numbers of enemies. Yes. So, so which is worse, the, the 15 uh, HP wizard robes or the 15 HP keys? 15 HP keys. I was going to say that would be my opinion as well. Because uh, if you think about it, we're used like the wizard robes, it's like what, one extra bomb? Yeah, yeah it, it's one extra bomb, and also it's a lot easier to get the wizard to work together than, the, yes. than it is the keys. Yep. All right, in the meantime, yeah, so there's a lot of... This is, what, the 2019 uh, kind of the base flag set for that? So uh, the dungeons will be um, in the vanilla... Lo all, everything's going to be kind of in their vanilla locations, uh, yep. but mixed. So, like, this is level 3, this is actually level, level 4 at level 3, for instance. Looks like we have shapes, which I'm okay with. Hi, Zolls. These are not going to get cleared. Nope. Oh, it's a segment. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's a ladder block. Well, I mean, you can get around it if you kill the Zolls. Or you could take the segment, go to the segment. You might have to do both. Might. I could actually see... Oh, wait, no, there's no sword upgrade. So, like, you just get money and hope you find silver arrows quickly. I think that's hope, the strat. You hope for silver arrows, you hope for a wand. Uh, recorder is nice, but... Uh... It's not immediately useful. Yeah. Those keys thought... are just not going to go down. No. And I thought it was mean that uh, you could have uh, double ranked patrons. I would rather a double ring Patrick. <laughs> Angel, meanwhile, gets a bomb off of this. I think this is a Gibdo. Yes. Uh, Chest Jerk is asking the correct question. Why aren't the rupees 15 HP? That is a good question. <laughs> All right, Saitown's going to immediately check out what's at level 7 and finds level 6. This is a level to find early. It's got bombs. Now, interestingly, the boss HP, I believe, is not max. So you I'll might actually want to focus on boss rooms. I mean, reasonable. some of the bosses can be pretty easy. Let's see. Let me take a look. Uh... Bosses? Yeah. Nope, that's not the right flags. <laughs> Oh, no, it is the right flags. Okay. Yeah, I think bosses stay the same. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Because the, the max HP is in the advanced tab. So if you just yep. look at the monsters tab, it looks normal, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Um, the one thing that I find sometimes happens in these max HP enemy seeds is that after you get the red ring and a couple of hearts, like in this case, the combat, I think, is going to relatively quickly move from difficult to just purely tedious. Yeah, uh, certainly going to be tedious. Okay, so Sightown is is it prioritizing finding out what levels are where. Has found level 7. Angel wants to just be done with this level 4. Not sure which approach is better. We'll, we'll find out. I like the clip to get the last, and then we'll have the clip out, because they're all going to respawn. Oh gosh. He, he went in the stair. Oh, no. no. You have to start over. Yep. 
I thought maybe Saitan would put turn off clipping, but I think with max HP enemies, he's probably thought, yeah, maybe maybe I want to be able to clip. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, yeah. that was that was a weird little picture there. And Saitan is finding out level seven does not like to have bomb walls. Doesn't matter if it's shapes or one two or two. two. Well, seven's just always bad. I don't care what version of seven you're talking about. Yeah. DQ8 is worse. Nah, I, I prefer 2Q8 because at least they're not trying to take my, my hearts and my uh, bombs and my keys. Yeah, but you have like 80 gajillion seers to deal with. Ish. Yeah, and 88 and uh, 70 gajillion in uh, 7, so... <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see where, where Sightown's going to check out some of these shops. First shop is keys, meat, keys and, and shield. I think we're buying. Well, I mean, a key keys could be a purchase later. A bait, probably not. At least not that bait price. There's going to be another one somewhere. Looks like we have some ropes here. Um, oh, ropes got to be another one. The really bad ones, because you know when you can kill them with one sword hit, it's not so bad. And when you can kill them with two, it's not so bad. Four gets a little annoying, and then we have this. <laughs> so. The thing that I think makes ropes a lot better is if you can get a red candle, because then you can just infinitely yes. bounce them. Ooh, okay, beautiful so we're finding, finding all the big dungeons. So far, we have found four, six, and seven. Uh, Saitan doesn't want any part of those dungeons yet. Yep. We get a map, map four. of four. It, it's a level. And we already knew it was segmented. Also, blank hits, hints which are nice, so they'll be very, uh, very short and sweet. So the I one gonna thing. Heart. Oh, you have to buy a candle. I mean, you you have exactly one spot you care about the candle, right? I mean, technically two. And you know where all your secrets are, so you don't have to worry about door repairs. Actually, technically there are three spots you might care about. I mean, okay, so we have, there's a heart spot, there is a couple of money spots, few money money spots, two very good money spots. But yeah. what you can do is, like, so Saitown's going to grab these hearts, uh, make sure he has enough uh, for the w white sword item when he finds it, because it's going to be in its vanilla location. Um, could grab the letter, uh, could choose to grab or take any potion later. Um, uh, but I think, oh. I think what he might... Yeah, he's, he'll do, uh, he'll check level 5's spot as well as get, um, the white sword item, whatever it is. He's got six hearts for it. Yep. Um, bomb upgrades are not on placing the white magical sword, are they? I, uh, maybe? Because if those aren't on, then any random floor bomb could be your floor drop. That is true. Let's check. No, replace... Yeah, no, bomb upgrades are on. Replace white sword, magic sword with bomb upgrades is on. Okay. So, we're, we're good there. <laughs> we're better than BR is evolving. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm not... Sh I'm not sure you can... So... I'm not sure where you would... Get rid of your. I think that's what you have to select to get rid of your 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 sword upgrades. Whereas nope. you can do it with swordless because that automatically yes. replaces it with bombs. Oh yeah 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 yeah. But this isn't swordless, so yeah. Without swordless, you have to replace it with that. Okay. In the meantime, I did not see what dungeon side town found at level five. Uh, three. Okay. Uh, I wonder if he'll go back there after he gets this item here at the at the white sword cave. I think it depends on what this item is. Uh, <laughs> the probably not. ladder, yeah. Um, I bet we're gonna see the coast item. Oh, the coast item should just be a heart. No, wait, no, no, that would still be shuffled. Okay, never mind. Yeah. And so we're gonna go get, yeah, we'll go get the coast item. And we've apparently seen that the uh, armor side of the heart. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jess. Jess, and Andy, doing the tracking for us today. So yeah, I think you just, if you're Angel, you just start clearing your way through. I don't, 
Oh, no, wait, you do need to reclear this room because you need the ladder in order to get across. So Side Town's going to save a whole heck of a lot of time in this uh, level, potentially. Yeah. Okay, what is on the coast? Oh, it is a heart. It's a heart. Okay. Okay, so I guess I... Okay, so Heart Shuffle is on. Yep. Okay, I guess I didn't quite catch that. Side Town with seven hearts. It wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't pick up m any more or many more. I, I don't know. The, the Magical Bomb upgrade actually might have more value than normal because it's a four damage weapon that hits everything. That's a really good point. Of course, it's still... Okay, still might not... Uh, yeah, the 14... Ugh, if it go, rolls up to 14, that would be yeah, pretty awful. I'm not saying Side Town is going to start picking up hearts. I am saying there is... Oh, no! And the, I, what happened on Angel's side? I'm, I was too busy Should looking at level one. Oh, no. He needs that ladder. This kind of puts Sightown, ironically, in this weird spot where it doesn't feel like he has a lead, but he actually does, because he's going to spend a whole lot, heck of a lot less time before. All right, so we got a heart in level one as our first item. He is taking the hearts. Angel FM's going to try to get some money. Of course, if Sightown finds a red ring in one of these places, it would not surprise me if that's when he stops picking up the hearts. Yeah. I mean, unless the game just throws hearts at him in his path, in which case he might mm -hmm. he might pick them up, because again, the bottom grade does have a little bit more value here. Yep. But it will be interesting to see if he does end up doing that. So interesting play by Angel here, going for the for the uh, um, gambling. Um, what he could do if like we again, we know where all the secrets are. We know where uh, we know where the money is. We know where the shops are. He could look for a blue candle in a shop and go get money from the you know the, the hundred secret cave that's up in the up in Casino Corner is going to give you a, a large secret. And that's going to be enough for a candle, most likely. So you could do combine those. And then you have a candle, and you have your bombs, and you have the things you need uh, to uh, get money uh, to then buy whatever it is he wants to buy. Right. But we also don't know where the candle shop is. Not no, so you'd outside, have to search but... it. There's, there's going to be one, you know, There's always ha there always has to be a candle shop at the... At the worst, behind a bomb, behind a bomb hole. Yep. Although I do like this decision to go ahead and get a little bit more money, so that you can also afford a bomb pack or two. Yeah, that's reasonable. Because you may find that you have to go to the forgotten spot shop in order to get um, the candle. Yeah, there only has to be one candle shop. Period. Okay, so Sightown is leaving level one. Uh, I think I saw a second segment, a second staircase, which means it's segmented as well. It's probably key blocked. Sightown's going to start grabbing some secrets to get some money to hopefully buy a candle as well. Um, so run down to the flags. Caves are semi vanilla. Levels are shuffled amongst themselves, but the rest of the caves are vanilla. Enemies are all max HP. And there are no sword upgrades. So this could very quickly turn into an exercise in tedium. All right, so Saitown at 63 rupees probably has enough to find a candle, just needs to find a candle shop. Now definitely has enough money for a candle, just needs to find the shop. Angel's still grinding money. Having about my luck with it. And he's hoping to find a candle in this shop. There nope. is no candle in that shop, unfortunately. Saitun grabs a large secret of 149, and he just wants to save that. <laughs> he could buy a blue ring. We did see a blue ring shop, and Saitun is is known to buy blue rings in this kind of situation. Uh, I think he's going to. And then you know, go get your money for uh for your candle and your other with your other secrets. Nope, not yet. Interesting. I think he wants to prioritize the candle. There, there, There's a candle and bomb shop there for Angel over 
at the Vanilla Blue Ring Shop. And that's the rare shop. Which is fine, because we can get to it. Yep. Oh, Sightown's gonna spend key. the money on okay. keys, okay. I actually like this more than the blue ring. I mean, he could get both, because he knows how big the secret is. He's gonna get the, the candle here. The rare shop being the bomb shop is kind of awful. <laughs> yeah. But, like, he could go and grab that hunter secret that Angel just picked up over in the Deadwoods, and he's almost right back to where he needs to be. Uh, actually, he would be right back where he would need to be if he wants to buy that blue ring. And then there's not a lot else to buy other than if you want to buy a potion. Um, I don't think we're going to... I think he'll just take a potion out of a take any eventually, because uh, um, the letter... He didn't pick up the letter when he was up in the Northeast. And something to keep in mind about... The current position. Saitown has bought two keys. Angel got three out of level four. So there is a very real probability that uh, Angel's key count is going to end up being a pretty big factor here. Yep, depends on if the any key decides to show up, but yeah, that's a definite possibility. Well, we all know they're going to put the any key in nine. <laughs> Alright, and there Saitown goes ahead and picks up the take any potion. To get more green screen. Level 7 for Angel FM. Yeah, he's going to go. I think Saitown's going to see over what's over at level 1, but it would not surprise me if he heads back over to level 1 at level 2 after this. Well, I think it depends what on is. what's at level 1, because level 2 is at level 1, so yeah. you can dig level 2 at level 1 before you go to level 1 at level 2. <laughs> I think that's a good plan. <laughs> Uh, Sidetown has so many more hearts because he's been heavily focusing on exploration over dungeon clearing. Whereas Angel FM's taken more time to clear dungeons because it's all 15 HP enemies, so... There is kind of an argument to be made that it doesn't actually matter, matter when you go clear these, because you have to just do the combat no matter what. Now, the combat's... The only thing that's going to make the combat better is if we find a wand. Yeah. And arrows can make it better, too. The any bombs. I love that ropes give you as much money as they give you. And, oh, we get the bomb upgrade sitting here on the floor in level two. That's a nice, nice pickup for Sightown. Now the tedium of killing some uh, 15 HP was ropes. Yeah. Wow, Angel with the tedium of the 15 HP gels. The seed is going to move very slowly, in spite of yeah. how uh, fast Saitown has been getting hearts. Yeah, it was funny, when I was funny, when I was uh, uh, contemplating signing up for this, I messaged Jess and said, you know what the flags are going to be, and he's... And her answer was, well, it's Sightown, so it's probably like plus or minus 4 HP, no no magic sword. <laughs> uh, but here we are. Yep. Being hopeful that uh, Ooh, we will be able to finish good. at a reasonable hour. <laughs> uh, so level 2 is very thin. Oh, we're gonna have to kill that. We're gonna have to kill him again because Saitown did not want to deal with the uh, landmos. Oh my god. Yep. I and was we actually. Kill these again. Yeah, the landmos are not. Con are they considered bosses in HP wise? Are they still gonna be fifteen HP as well? Uh, no. So I think I would have just killed the landmos. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I mean, I think that would have been faster than going through these rooms again. Also. They're weird in that they respawn, but it doesn't matter because you go in that room once and then you never look at it again. Exactly. Angel's gonna join Sightown in uh, level 2. So, yeah. This level 2 is very pepped up. 
And a uh, reminder that Angel's got that that a Dragon Warrior Sprite sword, which makes you think maybe that's a, a white sword or something. It is not. <laughs> no, it, it's what... I, I am honestly very much hoping for a wand in this too. I would love to see a wand. A red candle would also be really nice. We all know that. Our, we, we all know that. What's probably going to happen is it's going to be wand and bow and nine with silvers goma blocked deep in eight. Okay, let's let's find out if uh, is do we have important items in nine? Uh, that's a good question. I don't actually know if that was on for the twenty nineteen flags. No, nope. Allow important items in nine is not on, so the bow will not be there, but the silvers it could sure it could be in nine. Okay, wand, wand silvers in nine. in nine, and the arrows are probably in the forgotten shop spot. <laughs> oh look, more land molas. See, okay. these are much easier than those uh, than the uh, the wizard ropes or the uh, the ropes. Exactly. Get a key for our trouble, even. I like that Angel FM has decided to go ahead and bomb these wizards down a little bit. I don't. Ori has that potion at the ready if he needs it. I do not think extra bosses is on. Yeah, we're going to use the potion now. Gonna see a map. Angel FM gonna go check out this landmo room. Yeah, should they, honestly he, clear it. Yeah, you should just clear this. No, he also obeys. Okay. Uh, he might just leave. Nope. Well, at some point you have to dig a dungeon. And, you know, he committed a lot of time into that level four. And which just netted him nothing. But at some point you. you like, this is the first. Like, Saiton did a little bit of one. Okay, we got the heart container, so we're done with items. You gotta clear this room yeah. now. Yep, you do. You get a key out of it. Darn shutter doors. It's a good thing the oops all shutter door mode doesn't exist. Because <laughs> I have oops, a feeling no that would doors. happen. <clears throat> We're gonna come out pretty key happy out of this dungeon, though, both runners. That's a massive clock for Angel FM. It's a bomb drop, too. That's really okay, good. Okay, compass. Yes. Oh, Unfortunately, oh, this room is going to be I feel like awful. I spent... I feel like you spent the key here. Yeah, but what if that's an old man room underneath there? Then, honestly, that I feel like that's just a risk you have to take. Oh, clock, clock. Good clock. We're hoping this isn't a goma. I don't think we've seen a boss in here yet. Uh, stark contrast between our runners in terms of hearts. Sidetown having picked up several to take any hearts. Okay, we can just bomb to the to the left here. This has to bomb. And hopefully the Triforce is free. Angel FM takes a death to the ropes. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Free Triforce under the Rupee Boss. Actually, we got paid 10 bucks for it. I, I, I'll take that trade. Side Town first on the board. The good news for, for Angel, no ladder blocks to get to that Triforce, so he will be able to finish this dungeon if he sticks with it. Side Town gonna get a little more money. I still like the question of why aren't the rupees 15 HP and you have to walk over them 15 times. <laughs> God, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone's going to do it and just sing all around the mulberry bush and the monkey taste the weasel. <laughs> Sidetown's going to take the, the health refill up here and then we'll see where he goes next. Probably back to level one with those six keys. Yeah, I think one here makes the most sense. I could see three. 
but I think one makes a be is a better play than three, given it's got three items. He also probably wants to check out the uh, dun whatever's at level eight. Um, where was three? Was three at five? Three was at five. Yes. So you could do okay. three on the way out of all this. Actually, which mm -hmm. makes a lot more sense than going to three immediately. I like this. I like using the bombs here for Angel FM. And actually, does that leave... What dungeons have we not seen? Have we, We've not seen nine, correct? We've not seen nine. And we have not else? seen five. Right, so one of them's going to be raft blocked. It's going to be five. And five is raft blocked, okay. So there's level nine at level eight. Kind of that's one of the fun things I one of the things I like about the vanilla dungeon locations like this is that you do now have more items that you have to find. It isn't just bow silvers and hope you don't need the other things, right? Right. Hard required recorder, hard required raft. Now if only we had it with 2Q. <laughs> Angel should be able to get through this room relatively quickly. Well, I say relatively quickly. I should say relatively. Relatively is... Yeah. <laughs> there is no such thing as quick. No. I mean, the, you get the, the caveat of relatively. Yeah. Um, a thanks game for the clock at the end. I mean, that's what the game does, right? At least we don't have shooty selfos. Saito yeah. has been doing a really nice job with that candle, maximizing the one shot he has with it. So, I think at this point I would... I would put the over under the time of the seeds about two and a half hours. <laughs> We're going to be here would, for a while, aren't we? Well, the reason I would put it at two and a half hours is both of these guys are incredibly strong with combat. This room is going to be a pain to deal with no matter who you are because of the bubbles. Yep. I like this. Angel's going to elect to say, oh, no! Well. Oh, that's so bad for him. There is a way around. Honestly, yeah. I think the big difference here isn't even Sightown getting the Triforce out of two earlier, isn't even not digging four, it's the ladder find. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sightown, you know, we, if you go back to the uh, the Turnail flags the Sightown did, um, what was that, uh, in May, I want to say? Uh, he he also took the, um, the base of the 2019 set and... You know, he, he kind of learned how to play with, with the dungeons being where they're at. If, if I watched him play a lot of those seeds, and it was definitely this the pattern of, I'm going to get, I'm going to go get my hearts, I'm going to go buy my candle, I'm going to go find out what my dungeons are, I'm going to uh, get my white sword item, which in that case was always the wand. Uh, in this case, you know, it was a ladder. And uh, you can kind of see that same kind of routing uh, showing up here. The and only thing I think... I would like to see a side town being a little bit more willing to use some bombs for combat on mm -hmm. bomb dropping enemies like the Gibdos, the yes. Red Wizard Robes. Especially the bomb droppers. Yeah. You can make an argument that using bombs on key steel is really bad and that I would understand, but on bomb droppers or anything that can drop, mm -hmm. at least giving yourself a little bit of speed and a little bit of chance for forced bombs, I think that would help them out in terms of no, it might not even help him out, because, I mean, he's handling this perfectly fine with the Void Sword. I think it's just an option that he has that is being a little underutilized. Or like this, when you have them all grouped up like that, you drop a bomb just to cut out the number of sword stabs. Sure. But it's not a necessary thing that he needs to do. It's just something that I think is a, being a little bit underutilized. He's going to grab like this boomerang. boomerang. Yeah, for, with, with this, especially when you get, if you can get, you know, like likes or gibdos and you get just get them all grouped together, uh, makes it easier to grab that bomb. I think that's all the items out of here. Is we already got the stair item. Let's see, stair heart, floor heart, and boomerang. Yeah, so now he just needs to find the triforce out of here. Unfortunately, nothing super useful, but that that 
that boomerang uh, is going to have more. You know, ironically, the boomerang, you know, usually you think of its utility for zero HP, right? But on these mm -hmm. high HP, I, I think it's got pretty good utility, uh, you know, to group them up for bombs or or a candle flame or whatever. Um, to answer the question in chat, everything is max HP, not just the key set. But also, one thing that I think the boomerang can help with in any seed is if used properly, it can make setting up bomb forces a significantly easier yes. task. Yes, good call. And I'm actually starting to think back. I've been seeing an uptick in boomerang pickups lately, and I don't know if it's just because people like to meme about the boomerang, or if there's yeah, more merit being considered for that purpose of the boomerang to make bomb forces a little easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually will pick up a boom, pick up a boomerang. I'll pick up whichever one comes first because you know, there's, you don't. I don't find a, a huge difference between them. Ooh, I nice just realized compass. we don't actually need the raft. Oh, uh, recorder to first I quest dungeons. I believe we have recorder to old locations, and that allows you to skip fours raft requirement, which is probably why Angel spent so much time looking for the raft at 4 initially. Mm, okay. Or looking for the Triforce out of 4 so that he could just go immediately to that dungeon location. Gotcha. And that, to me, puts a lot of pieces together for Angel's strategy in that 4 deck. Okay, no, that makes a lot. That makes a ton of sense. In the meantime, Sightown has some 15 HP uh, Pulse Voice to deal with to get his Triforce out of, out of 1 here. I, I'm not gonna lie. I would very much be tempted to say, you know what? I know the bow's not in here. I know the bow's available somewhere. I'm just gonna get that. Yeah, I think that'd be a reasonable play. Especially because one's not terrible to get to, and you can go straight from here to nine with the full health. Oh, that's yeah. That's especially a good call. And another death for uh, Angel in level one. Yeah. Oh, nice clock. All right, Saitown picks up his Triforce out of level one, and uh, what do you think, level three next? Could go back uh, to level four? I think three before four, only because three is right here, and it's kind of out of the way otherwise. Also, uh, level three, um, we, we've got the item out of four. So, oh, one of the items. Right, floor drops. <laughs> yep. I've been playing a lot of uh, not heart shuffle lately, so... <laughs> Um, and to answer the question of Saitown having 10 hearts, I, this looks to me like he's actively at least considering, okay, getting the Magical Sword bomb upgrade will give me another plus two bombs, which could be yep. really helpful for some combat in these larger dungeons, as well as exploration. I think that's kind of what's influencing his decision making on that side. All right, back into level three for Sightown. Angel back into level level one. Angel's had enough of the Gliok. I don't think the Gliok had anything anyway, so that should be fine to leave that alone. Maybe like a map or something, at best. Yeah, chat suggesting the uh, uh, scum of the blue. I think Sightown, uh, wouldn't it would not surprise me if Sightown picks up money along the way and will eventually get that blue ring. There's a blue ring shop very close to start that he can pick up whenever he wants. It actually wouldn't surprise me if Angel does something similar. I assume neither of them picks up a red ring along the way before that point. Right. Because if you get the red ring, why would you buy the blue Well, I mean, you could buy the blue ring and have one for each hand. <laughs> they don't I've stack. Seen... I've seen people buy wood arrows when they already have silvers. I've done that myself. I've seen people yep. buy bait uh, when they've had bait in their starting inventory. Uh, I I've don't seen... think I've ever seen someone buy a blue ring when they already had the red ring. That that would be a new one for me. I've seen purchases of blue candles when you already have the red candle and already yep. have the blue candle. Or a purchase of a key when you already have the any key. I've seen that one as well. Like I've seen all of those, but I don't think I've ever seen the buy the <laughs> buy the blue ring when you already have the red. There's the map for Sightown. It's a level. Hi, book. 
Apna Point says, I know someone who has done it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Saitan is going to pick up this book. I'd pick it up. That's extra damage uh, on your, your, your 15 HP enemies when you get your... Uh... Uh, let's see this. Okay, before I, I assume he's going to pick it up, uh, what is our book situation here? I, I think it's just vanilla. Well, then I don't think he picks it up. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the little bit of DPS increase is necessarily worth it when the red candle does mm -mm. the exact same thing, just you have to get a yep. little closer. Yeah, I completely agree with you there. Okay, Afno says, no, it was not him. <laughs> I, you don't need to out whoever it was. I don't know if it was me or somebody else that did it, but skipped a red candle and a swordless seed when they didn't have the wand yet. Ooh, yuck. That's That sounds like a, a bad time. Red candle is a really nice item. It's kind of one of... It's probably the most underrated item in the game, in, in my opinion. To me, the entire value of the red candle is you find it before the wand. Oh, yeah, once absolutely. Once you found the wand, the red candle kind of falls off, but before, yeah, you take totally it. Totally agree. Uh, of course, the the one exception being that I will always take a red candle if second quest uh, enemies are on. Yep. For those extra candle boosts. What, you don't like being swordless by force instead of swordless by choice? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be swordless by... <laughs> it could be swordless, uh... It doesn't have to be swordless, you know. <laughs> Inverted controls is terrible. Slow mode is the worst. I remember uh, some old man links in uh, in uh, uh, the All Boards No Swords tournament a couple a couple years ago. If you want to have a really fun time, play with Ruby Speed on, get the two fifty five rupees, and then get slow cursed. Actually, saw that happen. <laughs> um, I think yeah, I, I saw that happen recently. I don't remember what the the flag set was and why it was being played, but it's not a fun time. Unless you're the viewer, then it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I wow. didn't realize that the, the gels could jump their cage there. <laughs> yep. Gels are weird and their hitboxes don't work. <laughs> their hitbox, like, extends out a tile and a half past their bodies, it feels like. Okay. Book is nothing. So, yeah, Saitown was able to... Definitely avoid picking that up. It doesn't really surprise me because every flag set that he's come up with has always had book is nothing, so... Not really a surprise that that, that continues. I don't think Saitown likes the book. No, I, I get that feeling as well. Um, not entirely sure why he re Oh, okay, this maybe is faster? Yeah, because then you only have to kill one enemy instead of two. Yeah, I was a little concerned that the gels were going to all come back. Mm -hmm. Alright, the Zoles. Now imagine if the gels could regrow into Zoles if you don't kill them fast enough. Oh, that'd be awful. Why, why do you come up with these ideas? I'm just stating ideas that already exist. <laughs> like the wall mask, like the wizard that shoots wall masters. See if Saiton takes this. Oh, he is going to take the heart. Uh, the book will give you wand fire. That's yeah, the, it. the vanilla book, that's all it does, is give you wand fire, which... In Quest 1, you get the book at the very end of the game because it's in level 8. And then you go into level 9, and... In my opinion, the wand fire on, on, the, uh, on the book is great uh, for landmos. And there's lots of those in level 9. In Quest 2, it's the other way around. You get the wand, you get the book really early if you go in order. And then you get the wand at the very end, because it's in level 8. And so you're still not getting your book, your, your wand fire until the very end of the game, but uh, you don't get to ever use the wand <laughs> without the fire. If you do I it in order. I strongly advise against doing uh, Vanilla Second Quest purely in order. Oh god, because no. Because you're going to miss two keys because you don't have a ladder because it's at 6. And... I have never once done second quest purely in order. I've always done go to six, get the ladder before doing four and five. I mean, I'm pretty certain I did it in order the very first time I played it, but yeah. 
never since. Always go into... It, it felt really good when the speedrun went and picked up the ladder, which is the thing I'd always done. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I must be pretty smart to do the same thing that the speedrun's doing. Combined with 2Q4 is mean. 2Q4 is awful. It's not as bad as 2Q8. <laughs> I would disagree, but... I Look. Look, I always mean that 2Q4 is a good level, and that's because it is, but... Even after the last tournament, I kind of soured on 2Q4 a bit. I noticed that. <laughs> it's okay. always bad, because it has as many stairs as First Quest 9, except it actually has two more stairs. And uh, they all the just lead to nowhere. It's the, it the same, same number of stairs. Yeah, it's the same, because it's got the two one-ways, as opposed to the just, you know, the two one-ways replace the uh, six stair. It's five plus two. Uh, yes. And then two items, yeah. So it's exactly the same. And I think this is the last room Saitown has to clear in level 3, so this has got to be the Triforce. Suddenly it's and... the compass. Or it could be the Dig Dogger. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, because... Well, I mean, at least you can stun him with the blue one. Okay, let's see what replaces the Zol there. It's... Okay. Gibdo's fine. Yeah, it's a bomb dropper. I might would spend a bomb or two on it. Uh, no floor drop in three, I don't think. No, it did not drop. No, uh, I mean, that room can drop in three. Uh, maybe it doesn't yeah. often? I'm not sure. I think the diamond stair can drop in any dungeon where it doesn't natively occur, except for level nine, where it naturally drops in nine. Okay. And I think technically it can drop in eight, because 2Q is weird. Well... We don't really consider 2Q. No, but the, but yeah. the 2Q rooms are on, so I've seen it drop an 8. Okay. I mean, it does drop an 8. I have... Oh my god, look at this room. Angel finally gets his ladder. This is Saitown praying that this is not where he... <laughs> he says, you know what, maybe I won't uh, uh, finish 3 right now. I don't know, I like that room. I like that uh -huh. room because I think wish are easier than darkness. You can just go full Scorched Earth on him with, like, ten bombs. Yeah, and he might... He might come back with a blue ring and a full bomb complement. Now, Saitan hasn't seen the map of this room yet. Of this level yet. Right. Uh, Angel following Saitan into level three. Gonna see this room and say, nope, 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 Oh gosh, two of them. I do like at least checking to see, okay, what is this room gonna lead to? I, I'm not gonna lie, there's a, my gut is screaming, go clear that blue wish room right now. Because it's not gonna get any easier, necessarily. I might have gone for the, the dig dogger. If it's only a single dig dogger, that it doesn't seem like it would be that bad. Well, even a even a triple dig dogger, as long as you hit them correctly with the boomerang before they split up, it's not yep. bad. Yep, also true. And you can get an immediate uh, eight HP off of them if you use your bombs. Yep. Although using your bombs and into the boomerang might be a little bit uh, tricky. Yeah, because you have to make sure that you bomb them, but. Do it the correct way, if that makes mm -hmm. sense, so that you don't yep. overwrite all of the invincibility frames and have nothing effect. Now, this room is not good for Saitown. I don't know if he'll use his potion, or if he'll just give up on doing this room. He's been at one heart for a while. Yeah. So, remember when I said that the combat is likely to get tedious instead of difficult? Well, this one's both. Yeah. But yes. <laughs> I do remember that. That that requires you to not be getting shot at by Demos Gossip. Uh, really, I do think the winner of this race is going to be the first runner to get anything besides a sword. 
There's that Chevy room. Yeah. And before, this is the floor drop. Oh, this totally it's the magical the boomerang. Alright, nice job on that whiz room. And now the rest of this actually isn't that bad, because you just stay in the ladder spot. And you can use the boomerang to keep yep. them where you want them. Yep. You often hear the question, which is worse, uh, high HP keys or high HP um, gels? And I always say... The keys are worse because you can't stun them. You can stun gels. Even if it still sucks, that you can stun them. Um, I would ask the follow-up question, blue or red keys? Because blue keys are more common, but red keys just slow you down like crazy in fire room. Assuming you can't kill the fire. Hmm. I, I'd still rather the gels by by that just by that boomerang margin. If you take out the 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 boomerang, oh, there's your raft. <laughs> so he didn't oh. actually <laughs> remember what you were saying about that Triforce pickup, so that you can recorder. Yeah. But then you just ignore it. Also, no, Cyclone's running out of keys, so that's a problem. But you could go up to. Level 5, which is going to be at level 4. Yep. Uh, do you remember where the compass was? I know it's not here. It was deep. Like, okay. in that little tail segment down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, because we know he needs to go up through that Chevy room to go to get to the Triforce, and this is taking him in all the wrong directions. I'm a little surprised Angel FM is not clearing the Dig Dogger just yet, because that would actually be faster than clearing all this. It's his heart. Uh, okay, so the white sword that we're seeing on the screen is ref in reference to the bomb upgrade that has replaced the wood sword. Uh, the, the tracker uh, can't really handle that because, well, I mean, we're not going to change the tracker uh, for one. Uh, for a three-game series. Actually, yeah. I don't even think we changed the tracker when it was the All Boards No Swords. Just you know, We it's... didn't. We just ran with it and, you know, people were expect people would see the HUD and be like, there's no swords, where's my sword? Yep. That flag made All Boards No Swords possible, because without it, it's... Without it, Swordless is kind of rough. Like, if your best bet, if you have swordless and no white sword magic sword uh, bomb upgrades is to actually turn off hard shuffle even though hard shuffle normally makes swordless a little bit easier because you're more likely to get a wand um turning off hard shuffle makes it significantly less likely you're gonna find a bomb pack on the floor and have no idea that it's actually the white sword oh gosh yeah that was like the, that was a huge concern it was really funny because when we did that that one uh, battle royale with the without the bomb upgrades and everything and it wasn't heart shuffle um, that was like my big fear, and the very first item I found was the 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 bomb thing in a stair, and I was so relieved. <laughs> like, okay, one one concern gone, you know. Yep. And one of the nice things for Angel FM is not only the clock in this room, but also Sightown is going to take a very similar path, so they're probably going to end up spending ultimately about the same amount of time in level four. question is, is Angel going to get his uh, his Triforce out of this dungeon? I think he's going to do his duty to the darkest. There we go. Now we're seeing some combat bombs on side now. I'll notice he's been doing it a lot when he, he sees a, a bomb drop on the floor, and then he just goes ahead and then uses the bomb. We are get he is getting some keys here, which is good. He was uh, pretty low on keys for a second. Yep. Did you know 
that if you turn on max HP and swordless, you will get a red candle instead of a blue candle at the uh, wood sword cave. I did not know that. That's quite kind of cool. Yeah. That sounds like a horrible, horrible uh, bunch of settings. So it has to do with the fact that you can't logically get bombs if you have 15 HP enemies and a blue candle. Because mm, the yeah, game assumes you can get bomb drops. Ah, it's a, that's really interesting. So it actually makes wood sword only a little bit harder than swordless for um, max HP purposes because you get that free red candle. It just goes to show uh, Fred. Fred thinks about these things when uh, when he when he programs them into the randomizer. Is this the compass or is the compass in the segment? Oh, it's right here. Yep, there yeah, it is. Inside town, <laughs> that cannot feel good. Because he was literally right at that room. Come flarm it. <laughs> Let's see if Angel decides to tackle the blue wish room. I think he'd first like to actually see what's in here. I want. Okay, I wonder if we're ladder blocked in four. You know, I mean, vanilla four is where you first start getting ladder blocks in vanilla, right? Yeah. So why not? <laughs> why shouldn't it be this way? <laughs> that would actually be an interesting flag. Force vanilla blocks. So it forces a ladder block into four, forces a dig dogger block into five, forces a goma block into six, etc. That would be interesting. But it doesn't. But it doesn't necessarily stop you from being able to get either the item or the Triforce. It just blocks something in the level. Mm. Looks like Angel FM is also going to elect to not clear Blue Wizards right now. Although with only six bombs, I can understand. Okay, so Saitown is about to get his Triforce at a level four. Uh, I imagine he goes to five next. Yeah. Angel of Time's gonna head up and see level 8 here at level 9. Yeah, we'll get a fun fact in chat. You can get all the way to again in level 9 without a ladder. But you just can't get into level 9 without a ladder. Because <laughs> there's a few ladder blocks throughout uh, the game. Well, what, you do, what you do is you roll a vanilla rando scene, but you just open 9. Problem solved. There you go. Uh, oh no, we're gonna go back to uh, this was six. six. I want to say. Yep, this was six. There's actually a lot of just one for one swapping of levels here. And if you think about it, three, four, five also are in kind of a like a triangle. So mm -hmm. it's yeah, six and really seven were flipped. One and two were flipped. Four and nine, no. One Where's and two he? are flipped. Right. Three, four, five are in a triangle. So yes. they all rotated one space. Um, six, six and seven uh, flipped. Yeah, six and seven did flip. Seven and then died, eight, nine died. flipped. There you go. Yes, all right. bosses are normal. So what set does this, does this uh, match to? Wait, say that again? What mathematical set would describe that oh, uh, rotation? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> make, make me think about... Uh, yeah, I, I could look that up, but, you know. Um, that requires effort. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look at that eight. We have the map in eight. It's got a segment. This looks like a person trying to flip a pancake, actually. Or mid-flipping a pancake. Okay, I can see it. And the little thing sticking out as a chocolate chip. So, funny enough, usually it's the, uh, yeah, I guess the red, blue dark nuts are still a little bit higher than the red dark, dark nuts, but they've very much evened out here. Uh, I say, because, you, you know, you, the, the blue ones are still faster. Yep. And yeah, I, I, I like what Saitown's just doing, he's just trying to run around, keep those sword beams for as long as he can. Don't get wall mastered. Please don't get wall mastered. Ah, oh no! Lost the sword beams. Uh, 
This is a potential item in level 8. Good dodging of the patch rats. Another one. It is a heart container. If this was a wand, but that would have been. That, that probably would be the swing. Wand or red ring could swing this one I way. I mean, or both the other. can still be in here. Oh, yeah. Two more items. How about a key instead? I think a key. And Saitown finds out that he does have to deal with both bats of the Vire. A little unfortunate, because now he's got to start over. Yep. He definitely was doing damage on them before. But now we get Vires in level uh, 8 as well. I would almost bite the bullet and just summon all the keys out. Just treat it like it's a keys room. But considering they don't have any rings, and nothing in that room for Sidetown. Yeah, just a key. Okay, here we go. Potential item here. Thankfully, this isn't a Beemos with the, the Wallmasters with Beemos are hard. Wallmasters yes. that go down to 15 sword shots with Beemos sound like sound nightmarish. Yeah. Let's see, okay, it does push. That one's push. This one's gonna push. What do we got? We, of course, have the transport. <laughs> it's pretty much kind of where Sightown's already been. Saves a key. Oh, gosh. Well, this this room, is not... This is not a push room, but it could be a drop room. Could be a drop room. You could also need to go through the north door. Yep. I'm not sure I would do this right now. I mean, honest, one of the things about max HP is it makes it kind of hard to not do a room because it's rare that rooms get easier. Yeah, it's true. They're all bad. Oh, there we go. Good bomb. That's huge for Angel. Bow on the floor in eight in that fire room. That's going to make his pulled voice at least very much, much easier. I think if I'm Angel, I'm immediately going... I'm, I'm going to do as much as I can in here still, because, you know, I'm already here. Yep. But the first place I'm going when I'm done in here is Forgotten Spot to... Well, actually, if you're on West Death Mountain, there is that same shop in West Death Mountain. But head to the Forgotten Spot shop, get the arrows, because I think they're going to be in there, and that's going to help a lot. Oh, absolutely. Except he's already bought them. He's going to have a lot to save with it. I apologize for cutting you off a little bit. That's okay. That was kind of a big moment. Um, was that you said that was on the floor? Yeah. Okay. In so... the fire room. Oh gosh. Okay. So Saitown needs to do that room. And Saitown. Need to go. Saitown's gonna have to choose to do a fire room. Which is not a guarantee. No. He has been very thorough about clearing rooms so far. So I think it's reasonably likely, but that does not mean it's a guarantee, especially if he doesn't have a wand by that point. He might have a wand by that point. Who knows where that is? Of course, it could still be a nine. Uh, red candle also would make the virus rooms a lot easier. Yep. So these are all things he could find before he gets there. Looks like Angel's now going to join Sightown in six, but we'll have the advantage of being able to spend some money if he so chooses on some of these enemies, and honestly, that large secret's going to come into play hugely now, because that's 149 arrows. And fortunately for Saitan, nothing in either of those rooms. Uh, this looks like Angel headed back to 4 to get this Triforce. Might actually yeah, go might to 5 well. next. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I say, yeah, he might as well just, just finish out 4 first. Probably gonna go to the Chevy room to look for the floor item, but may I like to say, you know what, I got four all this time. Yeah, if he skips that raft, he'll be fine, because he'll be able to he'll be able to record her to the level four location. Yep. He's gonna clear this room though, which makes sense. You're already here. Not electing to use arrows early. We'll see if he elects to use them um as the get down in HP, because these are ruby droppers. 
but I can understand one of the conserved arrows in this room. I think because he's got that nice safe spot on the on the river there, I don't think there's any real uh, pressing need to use the arrows on these enemies. Yeah. There is something to be said for doing all the concentrated effort at arrow conservation. Same with this room. Go I... He's gonna go ahead and get that raft. I only see using arrows in this room if he gets bubbled too much and just doesn't want to deal with getting bubbled constantly. Yep. But also, kind of needs the wizard to cooperate and get into the water. Ooh, good use of bombs here. Again, I, I don't think you need to use arrows in this room. You can if you want to, but you have the ladder to avoid getting uh, bubbled. Yeah, the, the water rooms, when you have the ladder, it, it's really nice to be able to hide out on that ladder. Saitown poking around in six, no items yet. We still have two more items and eight, don't we? Or no, we saw a heart. We saw a heart in the bow, right? Correct. We have one okay. item and eight. Outstanding. Both vendors in Magical Bombs territory, but we haven't seen a whole lot of heart pickups lately. Um, Angel FM might be trying to play a little arrow conservative, knowing that the arrows cost money and there's only so much money available. Mm -hmm. I could see wanting to play... Surprising. Yeah. And, honestly, I can't really disagree with being a little conservative on arrows, just because you really want to save those for things like pulls voice rooms, um, rooms where you don't have the accessibility, like shoot rooms... Mm -hmm. rooms with bubbles that you can't just stand on a ladder to avoid. So I just looked something up uh, that is an important consideration. Uh, red ring and silver arrows have been forced to nine. Oh. So oh, we are okay. not getting we're not getting a red ring. Uh, unless we find it in nine. Uh, makes oh. uh, the blue ring purchase maybe a little more likely. But and we, are we will be doing... Yeah, we are going to be do. Yeah, wand will be available before nine for sure. Uh, any key will be available before nine for sure. Um, and silver no. arrows, uh, we will be doing a silver search. So uh, uh, the runners will, you know, Angel's already bought his uh, arrows. And Saitown's going to want to buy his arrows as well at some point. I wonder if and we should say accessible, not necessarily readily available. I mean, available is not necessarily readily. <laughs> Um, yes, actually, Angel FM is in go mode right now. Would like to have a wand, but doesn't need it for combat. Yeah, that's true. So, Angel FM could choose to just ignore the rest of the items at this point. Sure, how much it's... of a difference that makes. So, see your Saitan picks up the Triforce in 6. We'll see if he leaves. Uh, but, uh, it's... The, the Triforce is a floor drop, so you're still killing all the enemies. You're just not... Like, there's a, there's a handful of rooms, uh, like a, a, a five-block room, for instance, is never going to drop in anywhere, anywhere but level one. So, if you're not worrying about picking up uh, items, you know you don't have to clear that uh, unless it's for a shutter door, if that makes sense. Yep. Okay, Angel is this... going to kill off the Gliok. Saitown is just going to leave level six. Well, we know that he's not missing a bow out of there, so... Mm -hmm. Could be a wand in there, we don't know. Uh, you will not need a bracelet in these flags, because the dungeons are going to be at their vanilla locations. Yeah, the power bracelet's a really bizarre item in this, flag in this kind of flag set, because... It's still kind of nice, because it does give you a certain amount of fast travel, but it doesn't really do anything <laughs> other than that. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see where Saitan's head is now. I think he's going to five. I think so, too. So the real question is going to be, how long is, will Saitan elect to dig eight for the bow versus, say, I'm going to dig seven instead because seven's generally smaller. And I'm going to leave eight for until I absolutely have to. Well, uh, Angel didn't get the, uh, the Triforce at eight. Does need to go back there. Yep. Uh, Saitan has pretty much been clearing every room he's running into. Uh, quietly has ten keys. That is a small five. That six has got to be humongous. Um, so yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he's clearing every room in eight, runs into the bow, and then, you know, gets the Triforce afterwards. The question is, is how much is he going to be doing in other dungeons before he gets there? Right. Because... You can't assume the bow is an 8 at this point. No, I mean, why would you assume the bow is an 8? We don't have hints, there's no way of knowing. Yep. This room is horrible, I think I would not deal with it. I think I I actually like Angel taking the stair here after clearing out all those my masters being like, no, I'm taking this, I don't want to have to clear them again. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, Saiton did the same thing. And led to the Triforce, but mm -hmm. Angel will be able to leave with the Triforce knowing that he doesn't have to come back. But Angel has been a little bit more willing to skip rooms if the combat is bad. We'll yeah, see this, if that this... ends up being a factor. So this is a really bad situation for Sightown in this tea room, trying to clear this out, hoping that maybe the Triforce or the item is there, and it will spawn on the tea in level 5. Um, yep. So he would rather clear it where he is right now. He has resorted to bombs, which could be unfortunate if he doesn't quite get it all the way done. Um, down to half a heart. He's already used his potion. I don't think he picked up the letter. Could go back nope. for it. Saitown does not have the letter, and Saitown's very unlikely to go all the way to the other coast. A long potion. way. I mean, he could go back and get it uh, whenever he decides to go and finish level 3. But that's not anytime soon. Like, he's got the items at a level 3, and there's the death, oh. And now he's down to one bomb. Yeah, this is... Ah, uh, retry. Yeah, I think he, he must have saved after he bought those bombs. Yep. Good call. Now he's gonna walk into the wood sword game. <laughs> I, you, know, you know, every once in a while, you just gotta remind yourself that the wood sword's there. <laughs> and that's the only sword you have. Angel FM is definitely willing to now be a little more yep. liberal with these arrows. I think realizing he's in go mode has helped a lot. Are we going to go pick up a blue ring? Because he just got the money. Uh, he needs three more rupees because it is vanilla. He might. He's going to walk into the cave. I mean, realize they have... Gonna save those, save those uh, three. You're kidding. You know, normally, normally you just be like, okay, let's just kill a few Octoroks or something. I'll get a blue ring that way. Oh, he's going to go? Okay, this is smart. Or go find some levers. Yeah, exactly. And then you can just buy your blue ring. He only had to gamble once, gets himself up to 255. Gonna buy this blue ring. Uh, I like the purchase. Uh, the only problem with it is he hasn't gotten his arrows yet, but there are still plenty more uh, secrets available. I don't think he's gotten both of the large secrets, or all three of the large secrets. I think he's gotten maybe two of them. He has gotten two of them. He's not gotten the third one, which okay. I believe is the one in the forest. Not yeah, so, I... he, so he, can, he can go get, you know, when he decides to buy arrows, he can go ahead and, and do it that way. Sorry, Tom, back to level 5. I do think one of the things you can do to save some money is do a combination of arrow and sword on the gels, trying to cut down mm -hmm. on the number of arrows you need to spend. Yeah, because, you know, you can you can use, I mean, just in a normal seed. Forget forget the, the, 12, the 15 HP for everything. In just in a normal seed, you can go through arrows very, very quickly. And go through that money very, very quickly. And now with 15 HP enemies, just, you know, just add to that. To answer the question in... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, to answer the question in chat, all the enemies have 15 HP, regardless of what their original health value was. But 15 is the maximum amount of HP an enemy can have, which you might say, well, why isn't it 16? Because that's due to the fourth power. The answer is zero HP exists. Yeah, the answer is... Uh... Don't forget zero. <laughs> yes. Computers like zeros. So the Triforce was down in this area. 
Yep. So it's not like Angel FM is necessarily going to miss it as long as he just, you know, is able to clear this out. All right, so Sidetown was in a possible stair room there. Uh, his elected, you know, not to clear out with the buyers. Yeah, that's fair. I, I can definitely understand not wanting to clear buyers until the game tells you, you know, you have to clear buyers. Yep. Which is why I'm not entirely convinced Sidetown is going to get the bow as quickly as Angel FM did tonight. But, given his thoroughness in every other room, um, it wouldn't it's it's not going to surprise me either way, whatever decision he makes, because both of them have some rationale behind it. Absolutely. Now, if he sees an early compass in eight, that's going to change things significantly. Good clear of that room from Angel FM and from Saitan on his side to get these gels down. Okay, nothing Both there. Both runners got to watch their health a little bit. I know watching it go to zero does not count. <laughs> Good use of eye frames from Angel. It It's not so much that it's horrible, it's that it's... It does reach a point tedious. where it's slow and tedious. There are worse flags, but there are not many. I mean... We had Sprite Shuffle yesterday. It's a oh, Sprite Shuffle is a good flag. flag. It's a terrible flag. It's a good flag. It's a terrible flag. Fun percent is the terrible version of it. But okay, even that well, I like. Fun, fun percent is much worse. But fun percent is also hilarious. When everything is meat. <laughs> I have a trouble with geese meat. Need a burner bush meat. Go get it. Meat. There we go. Now we're starting to see some more bomb combat. There we go. These dark nuts are actually lining up really well. Yeah, n another situation where it's really nice to have the, the water in a room um, of enemies that don't go over the water. Uh, Sightown in a also in a moat room, but unfortunately the keys fly. They say, water? What do I care about water? Ooh, really um, good clock here for Angel FN. Also interesting that Saitown... Saitown got that key room down to one. Left the room and up A to get his health back. And now we'll finish that last key, I assume? Either or that or is... Or we'll finish it when he needs to. He might choose to leave it until he decides he's ready to go through that shutter. Uh, that he's going to clear it he... now. The six is big. Yeah, you can, you, can see see, the... you can see we're five goes into six. We can see the way yeah. they fit together. That's so cool. <laughs> I love uh, it when you get that. Angel six is significantly longer than Saitan's at this point. So yeah, he's already... Cool. He's definitely veered off the path that Saitan was on. Hey, there's a heart sitting on the floor for Saitan. He picks it up. Looks like Angel FM is going to up A. Might go back to that section now. As we see a staircase here, it is the oh, Wong and Five. Ooh, that changes a lot. That's going to... Now, don't you just clear everything as quickly because now you got you know i mean obviously wizard rooms are still a problem yeah but uh now i see no reason why you wouldn't clear a fire room nope that that might be a game for Saitown right there even though it's way too even though it's still very early because angel fm is not going to go there and angel fm may full clear this entire six yeah this 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 oh we didn't see any of this six uh, of this area that Angel in right now. The best case scenario for Angel is any key, um, only because Saitown can still run out of keys. I mean, eleven keys is a lot, but yeah. Shape uh, seven and eight still exist. Shape seven and eight and nine still exist. Wait, when did um, Saitown? Oh, right, it's old dungeons. I was like, when did Saitown get the Triforce for three? <laughs> but he's not going to go back in right now. That's <laughs> kind of interesting. Uh, where are we going? Sightown is headed towards... Sightown... Sightown's gonna go get this potion. The letter. 
Or the potion, yeah, you're right. The the wrath spot will give him the potion. Yeah. Yeah, good call. Angel FM needs a compass and needs it badly. Maybe. I mean, this room drops. It does. Bombs are okay. We like bombs, but he only gets one out of it. There's worse things to get. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'd rather get, you know, I always feel better with full bombs, whatever that full number is, so. But yeah, we talk about those keys. The uh, there are mugger rooms potentially in this in this uh, um, speed, and uh, the muggers can uh, ask for keys, and the any key is kind of your free pass. Now it looks like Side Town's gonna go for this blue wizard room. I... The wand doesn't help you with the wizard robes, though. No, but you have blue ring in twelve hearts at this point. Well, I guess my point is, I think I would go for the Dig Dogger. Although, I, I, I'd have to see again what room it was. I didn't wasn't paying attention to whether it's a room that can drop. Uh, it was a blank room, so it should Okay, so of course, drop. yeah, it absolutely can drop. I still think we're on pace to get under two and a half hours. <laughs> Even Jet with the Silver Sun to nine. Well, the Silver Sun to nine actually kind of speeds you up a little bit because you don't have to, you know, once you get your bow, you're not thinking about, oh, well, I still need Silvers. Can they be a nine? Well, not only can they be a nine, they are a nine. And not only that, but because Remove Most Open Stairs is not on, you can clip into a whole bunch of the stairs. Yep. Fun fact, when you turn off or move most open stairs, you get a lot, a lot of open stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the point where uh, a friend of mine, I, I will not... Uh, oh, that's the... Oh, gosh. And Sightown is about to find out. It's not Wizro blocked. Oh, yes, it is. Just different yeah, Wizro. <laughs> yep. It's how Jeez. soon we forget that this room exists. But yeah, a friend of mine was like... "Is is a Did, did they turn on a flag that says... Uh, put in open stairs <laughs> the first time you saw a uh, seed that was not removed most open stairs. I'm like, no, this is just what it looks like when you don't have that on. <laughs> yeah. Sightown's gonna try and do this. He might use the... He's got the potion at the ready if he needs it. I, th I think Sightown's just gonna try to brute force this down. Oh yeah, he's, he's gonna use the potion. I mean, if he needs it. He's hoping not to use the potion. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But that's what you have it for, you know? Yep, there's, there, there's the potion. I don't think he's going to need to use it twice. I don't think so either, but, I mean, blue wizards are blue wizards. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. They just do whatever they want. Although, once Me? you get it down to two or three, it's not bad. Me, I would have left gotten more bombs and come back. <laughs> that's a valid strategy. Alright, Triforce out of three for Sightown. Takes a 6-3 to three Triforce lead as Angel is still wandering around this 6. Yep. Uh, but still remains to be seen. Uh, Angel has those uh, that bow out of 8. Saitown needs to go there at some point. Honestly, I think that's the thing. I think the thing hurting Angel the most is just... Honestly, I don't want to say bad luck, but that's really what it feels like. It's just Saitown's finding the Triforces and some of the items that Angel FM isn't. Yeah, I, I didn't see where Angel took the wrong turn, because it looked like he was heading down in the direction of where that Triforce was going to be. Saitown's going to go ahead and get his money and probably buy some arrows. I think what it was is he started going that way and then got blocked in a room with something and said, I'm just going to up A instead of mm -hmm. go all the way back. Yep. Uh, let's see. We're going to buy more bombs. Mm -hmm. And then if you're Sight Town, you have 7 and 8, and you're going to go to... Well, oh, Red Candle's at least a nice item to find. Yep, that's going to help a bit. Uh, it's, a it's a consolation prize. Yeah, and also, I have to agree with Chad. The the blue ring pickup was uh, is working out well for, well for Sight Town. Uh, definitely helped him get through that wizard room. Uh, probably, uh, uh, very possibly, would have needed to use the potion, both potions, if uh, if he didn't have it. 
And for those just coming in, it is max HP enemies for every single enemy. And Saitan's gonna go into level 7. Now, now because... Oh, also of note, because uh, of the uh, red ring and silver is guaranteed to be in, in 9, uh, Saitan's not gonna go to 9 without a bow, and that is a map. <laughs> no, it's just... It's a question of will he go to 6 before 8. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah, I... Oh, mm. well, he's definitely gonna go to 8 before 6. Uh, it's the question of if somehow he gets the, the Triforce out of 8 before he finds the bow. And then even then, does the he choose to leave an item behind it? Any means? I, I think he's gonna get... I think he'll get the, you know, he'll get the Triforce out of 7. Um, and then he'll have to decide whether he wants to try and find the, uh... The item in seven, if he get if he does, or the items in seven, uh, and then same thing in eight. It, it, you know, you're gonna you're gonna go to the dungeons you don't have the triforces for first. The Wait, only dungeon we... he's left behind is the items that he has, does not have the items out of six. Wait, we have a little mini three inside of the seven. Uh, there is like, I think number at, three. If... If you look at the shape of 3, and then you look at the shape of 7, there's a miniature version of level 3 from the seed in level 7. Oh, <laughs> I don't remember. My memory doesn't go that far. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember what 3 looked like, but I think... Yeah, I think I see what you're You mean on the, on the right side there? Yeah, on the bottom right. Okay. Also, uh, it was a floor bow. You know, normally I would... <sighs> hmm... I, w I would say, again, it, it, do you find the Triforce before the bow? If he finds the Triforce for the bow, that's going to be really hard to want to come back and, and dig a floor item out of, out of eight. If he finds the bow first, then he's fine, because you're, you're basically, he's pretty much been clearing every room. Even when he was in six, he was basically clearing every room. He just didn't get the, uh, didn't get the, um, uh, the items out of it. Oh, that there we know where our stair go, our our transport stair goes now. Nice little one off. I'm not convinced. Oh, oh gosh, no! walks right it's into the wall, master. Oh man. Back to try again from the start. Fortunately, that was a Gliok room. And he doesn't come back, and the next room is a trap room, so those guys don't come back, and this room, we don't care about opening that shutter, so... Yeah. We, we all know that the best enemy is the what is the wizard that shoots wall masters. <laughs> because what's more fun than wizard robes when they can send you back to the beginning of the level? Angel's still looking for this Triforce. He's not found it yet. Here's a... Stare. Oh, this is tricky. Eh, you can candle key. boost it. Okay, nice candle boost. It is the item. It is the any key. Well, so much for keys. Yeah, really. Like, you have 13 keys, and the game's like, oh, here, have more keys. Yeah, but he's only got a half a heart, and maybe actually a quarter heart. I'm not sure. I, I almost wonder if this is actually worth it on 13 keys. Okay, he got it. Yeah, he's just gonna, yeah, just pop the potion. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he goes and grabs the letter. It gets so yeah. far out of the way, though. It's out of the way, but you can whistle the one and grab it right before 9 and then get a potion going into 9. That's, I think that's fair. Yeah. That's probably what you gotta do. But yeah, that's a really nice find for Sightown. Now we don't care about that key sitting there. How about this room, though? I have a free bomb.
I do think, I mean, it's, it's funny to say speed up, but that wand is definitely sped Saitan up. Oh, yeah. Like, I feel like he hasn't been in this seven very long at all. Don't grab the clock. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the other thing that sped Saitan up so much was being able to get out of six way more quickly. Yes. Interestingly, and, if Angel FM goes to 5 before 6, the 6 is faster, but you have no reason to do that because then you either have to whistle or obey out of 5 because you don't have a raft. Oh, wait, no. Uh, he did pick up the raft. He picked up the raft. Oh, there's the... Okay, Sightown, now skipping hearts. <laughs> yeah, at this point. We're back to our normal Sightown. <laughs> well... I might we have grabbed that. You're so bomb. Yeah, we know where the magical bomb upgrade is. I might have just grabbed it. Uh, Wait, are they? Fin oh, this is a fun room. Oh boy, uh, we could clip onto that. But also, yeah, I was just—I was gonna say I—I I might grab grab the hearts just because. Um, I, I I wouldn't go pick up the magical bomb upgrade, but having that that spot in my back pocket if I run out of bombs. Uh, isn't it and then I can go get it. Wait, are the hearts even shuffled? Okay, let's like find out. Like heart requirements. Uh, good question. Let's check. This time, I was smart, and I left the app up. <laughs> it's been five years since 2019, so I don't remember what those flags were. No, it's it's changed sword hearts. Okay. So, okay. 60% chance you can pick it up. But yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't go grab it, but if if I ran out of bombs somewhere, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, ha I'm leaving that in my back pocket as a, hey, I know where I can get bombs if I absolutely have to. And also, of note, Sidetown kept digging that seven after he knew where the Triforce was to get the heart container. Or to yeah. see the heart container. So, that tells me he's digging eight. Yep. And we'll go, and obviously we'll go back to six as a last resort. Yeah. And he, okay, so recorded back to two. He's going to go pick up this letter. Yeah. I, I like it. Um, the potions have come in really handy. Uh, that's the thing. So so the other day, uh, actually a couple weeks ago, I've been watching the 2022 tournament, which I saw a lot of at the time. But I now have a better perspective watching them because uh, uh, no, yeah, I didn't really understand the randomizer at the time. And I was watching a race between Mr. Dunlow and TA909. And of course, we all know who TA909 is. Mr. Dunlow, a uh, great player in his own right. Uh, but I'm going to highlight TA for a second because uh, I watched that race and he used potions five times in that scene. And, and you know, TA was even, he hadn't won, you know, he's won SG Live recently in, in the course of the last tournament. But, you know, he was still coming off a, a recent, you know, second place finish in a tournament. So it's not like this was, you know, free good player TA. He's still a very good player at the time. And he used that potion, those potions, five times. Uh, so all of you listening, and I think we, we may have gotten some Rookie Rumble uh, viewers um, recently. Uh, the, 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 the takeaway, I, what I took away from that, and what I hope everybody takes away from that, is use your potions. You yep. have them for a reason. Don't don't save them for Ganon. You know? it, uh, look, the potion doesn't do you any good if it's sitting in your pocket when you die. Exactly. So also, use those potions. Angels are liking to keep digging six looking for the wand. Oh, that's really interesting. That is unfortunate because uh, uh, it ain't here. And honestly, the only thing I think that can be here is like the power. Yeah, which Maybe this late in the brain. game, we've already got the, the recorder. It really doesn't do much for us. Yeah, I see chat saying the best players don't seem to die with a potion in, in their inventory. That is a, a great way to put it. Yeah, there's that map. That's <laughs> such an awful map. <laughs> yep. Only a, oh, a two-headed Gliok. We get a little break of, from combat here. <laughs> For now. <gasps> 
you know, it's it's the old Final Fantasy elixir, right? I don't know if you played Final Fantasy also, but uh, you get those those few elixirs, you just don't ever want to use them because what if I need them later? <laughs> uh, well, not Final Fantasy. I have played enough Skyrim to be like, all right, I'm gonna go fight the final boss, and I have 100 health potions. I'm fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have 50 deaths to other dragons before that point. It's yep. like, I'm use my potions. Yep. Then, of course, you use the stunlock strategy on the final boss, so it's not even a threat. I, I feel really bad for Angel here, just constantly searching and looking for this, but isn't going to find anything of value here. Yeah, okay, so we have... I think this is the uh, the heart container here for Saitown? Yep. So what's this about a RuneScape player? I, I know nothing about RuneScape. I don't either. Other than... Uh, apparently, there's a thing you... There's a cape you get to get all your skills to 99, and sailing is a thing, I guess? Sounds fun. Oh, cabbages. That's just my D&D &D group where... Our method of solving traps is just throw cabbages at it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, and it so... is what? To save people's lives. Nice. So Saitown chooses not to pick up the heart. He could have been, he could have been at, at at 14 hearts guaranteed that, that magical bombs pick up uh, again. Um, just to have it in your back pocket as a bomb refill when you need it. So the compass in six was at the very bottom. And I have no idea where this uh, stair item on six is at this point. Oh wait, it was the red candle. Uh, the really red candle, oh, yeah, it was the red candle was up in the northeast. I couldn't tell you the exact. Oh, and the power bracelet is the, the floor item. Wah, wah, so, wah. Not, not, not really a useful item in this flag set, especially once you have the recorder to get a kid around to uh, all your uh, dungeon locations. Well, Side Town so far has missed the room with the bow. So that's the kind of thing that Angel needs to happen. The side town completely full clears this eight looking for the bow. Because if that happens to side town, that's Angel's way of getting back into this. And getting the wand out of five is incredibly important. Of course, we don't even know where the, the Triforce is out of this eight. Oh, it's called Run Escape now? Okay. Um, insert escape. Insert yourself into escape room, solve escape room, and you get a room. I don't think Sightown leaves eight with all the items. Or without all the items. But, I mean, he is. He has he, not he's been. Though. He has been very thorough. He has not left. The only items he left were the ones in, in, in six. And I would argue, here's why you stay in 8 and you don't go back into 6. You have the map to 8, you don't have the map to 6. Yep. And you've also seen how small 5 was, you know that 6 is going to be big. In fact, you know, 6 can be bigger than 9. I'm not sure, I don't know that this one will be. Uh, 7 didn't feel that big, this 8 is, uh, eh, this eight's kind of average, I would say. Um, I actually played a seed earlier today where my six was actually bigger than my nine. It does happen. It's it is rare, but it was one uh, of those moments where I just kind of paused for a second because we'd already seen the nine, because uh, because book, and then yeah. I just paused for a second, just you know, let every just want everybody to notice this. <laughs> this six is bigger than nine. <laughs> Let's count the rooms. We must verify. And I, and I think that may be one of the reasons why Saitown puts the, the silvers and the and the red ring in nine, forces them there, is now he, he like this bow he needs to find, he knows it's not in nine. I mean we could have he could have just done it with important items not in nine, but it uh, it does kinda um, you know, it, it it limits your search a little bit. Yep. And he also knows that the silvers won't be outside of nine, so he doesn't have yeah, to go back he does, to Yeah, you don't have to, you know, it's like, I don't have to go back to six for my silvers. I 
And I, you know, I wonder if, yeah, you know, I, I gotta ask him about the book sometime because you know, like he's consistently made made the book useless in in, in flags that he has created. Just doesn't like the book. <laughs> doesn't want to pick it up. Sightown's about to get the boat. Yeah. So Chad asking Force Red Ring in, in Silver Eyes was Sightown's call. Yeah. All these this entire flag site was Sightown's call. And this room that Angel is in, which we speculated uh, could be something, uh, and it could be a transport. Uh, this was one that Saitown said no to. Yeah. Okay, now we just gotta find the Triforce at 8, which we don't know, because Angel didn't pick it up. Nope. But once Saitown gets this Triforce, he's just gonna go to 9. Yep. Uh, doesn't care about what the other item is. There's nothing in here that he could possibly care about. Yeah. Well, you might get the other item anyway. Yeah, but there's uh, there's like four staircases or four uh, four transport stairs in here. So, well, yep. three because one has to be on the other in the in the uh, segment. But <laughs> also, Saitam just picked up the bow off. Yeah, literally, what, maybe a minute ago? 30 seconds? Yep. Not very long, though. Or the Triforce could just be there. He's going to see if this is an item. It it's is. a boomerang. He doesn't care. He's going to get the Triforce, and he's going to go to 9. And, you know, the nice thing with the way the dungeons are set up in this flag set is you can record her there. Yes. So now that we're going into nine, we need stairs, we need a roar, and we need a door. Okay, so and in fact, you recorded to two. <laughs> That's kind of That's funny. fine. It's basically it the works. same thing. It works. Um, you might not have known where his recorder was pointed. I know I do that all the time. I'll just record her once uh, and mm. see where it's at, and then I'll record to the place I'm at. And then if you, you know, in this case, two is close enough rather than doing it again. I was going to say, not Ganon's many. not max HP, but I mean, essentially he is, right? Because <laughs> you're using a wood sword on him. <laughs> I was say, he's natively 15 HP. Yeah, exactly. Imagine the chaos if we could get up to 32. Oh. Here's Wand the wand for Angel. Angel. So, Angel just needs to do all of the rest of the dungeons incredibly quickly. Um, <laughs> yep. And it needs to do nine faster than Sightown. Yep. That's all. Um, I mean, nine can still so do nine things. And it's not so much that early, Sightown's early ladder was a difference. Oh, I yep. bait block. You could be fun. <laughs> you could actually be... You could actually be a thing. Um, the big difference was Sightown got out of 6 earlier, which allowed him to get the wand sooner, and that's propelled him forward. Although, Angel FM just got the Triforce out of 5, so... He's gotta Could go back to 3, and yeah. uh, clear at least one Wizard Room, possibly two. Uh, one one had the Compass, the other had the, the Triforce. Um, I don't know, he... Hmm. The Triforce and 8 wasn't that far from where the bow was, but... Oh gosh, that nine. And it's deceptively smaller than it looks, but still pretty darn big. <laughs> yeah. And I think Angel did spend somewhere around 30 minutes in level 6. Plus he dug 4 early and did not get the Triforce out of there, which cost him time too. I think in and the end they spent, because Sightown spent a long time in 4 when he went back. So I think oh. the fours were pretty even. I think the, the big difference was uh, Saitone's earlier ladder get just, you know, just doing that extra, extra exploration uh, and then the, the, the six. We know where Zelda is. 
Yep, hi Zelda. Wait, Gorillas exist in the seed? Have we seen them yet? They're in nine. I mean, we had to. They had to be in one other dungeon. Well, wherever they were, I missed them completely. <laughs> I missed them too. <laughs> it should mean no wizard robes in here, so that's got to be nice. Because we've yeah, seen we've, we've seen a lot of wizard robe dungeons. Yeah, an or angel darkness. does not have a blue ring, which is not insignificant. No. I mean, yeah, Saitan clearing the two wizard of rooms used uh, all his bombs, which I think he didn't have his, his uh, I think he had seven or eight walking in. Yeah. And then uh, used a potion in the second room. This key's room is awful. And now here's Angel FM coming in with five. And I don't know if he's got a potion or not either. I don't think he does. I don't know. I don't know if he went to the raft spot. Yeah, looks like Angel wants to do this room over here first. Well, that'd be good if he does, because that is the answer. It's going to save all of a... Nope, wait, hold on. And we're going to do the Dig Dogger room, which is what I would do. He's going to the Dig and Dogger I, room. Yeah, which, you know, was the wrong answer, but it's what I would have done. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to fault him for making that decision. I doubt might be okay with the Red Ring. Oh, yeah, Saitan sees the Red Ring. He's picking it up. 100%. I've seen him skip it before. Okay, if he finds it after Ganon, he might pick, skip it. Yes. But not if he finds it before. No. And of course, the funny... Oh, this, has, did Angel not clear this room? This is an awful nope. room. Oh, Angel picked up the book. Yeah. Okay. And a little bit of extra firepower. Yeah, I, 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 I actually, I mean, I don't mind wand fire for the most part. Um, if I know the book is trash, I typically won't pick it up. But um, there are some enemies that it just makes really, really short work of. And you know, buyers are one of them. Oh, we don't have to kill this this uh, Gliak. He's just good. We just he can just chill. Oh gosh, he's already got silver arrows. Okay, so now we just need to find Ganon, and we need to find a path. I I think you'd try to find Ganon while looking for the path to Zelda. Uh, I totally cause... agree. I mean, I might stay in this area where Saitown is right now, uh, but as soon as I up A, I'm, I'm trying to get up to that spot there. And also, the other thing is, at this point, it really is likely going to be we're going to a game three. Oh, look. You can use arrows to kill these guys Yay. instantly. That feels like cheating. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> I like that Saitan's going to check the nubbin. Yep, absolutely. You always check your nubbins. Right now, he's going to want to get his ears on as many rooms as he possibly can. Also, with those silver arrows, there's a lot of enemies he can kill much faster. Yep. We're gonna check this nub, too. Always check your nubbin. Your nubbins. I almost said nubbins. Yeah, and, and the worst part uh, for Angel in this level 3 is, you know... You don't feel great if what you get is the compass. But you know, if at least if you've got the compass, uh, now you just know what room to go to. And unfortunately, the compass room is also a wizard room. It's the two wizard rooms back to back. Yeah. Let's see if Saitan. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking he might leave those bombs on the floor uh, for a refill if he needs them. Yep. Which honestly, I think I'd do the same. But yeah, me too. Yep, I, I'd love to see his map. We've got pretty good coverage, I think. Find the shoot room. Alexa, not even bother checking. Yeah, I might have seen if I could bomb there. Um, yeah, and that get could into be the only path to Zelda. I'm also try this first.
Angel likes to be farming bombs based on uh Oh yeah. Okay. Chat. I mean that's fair. Uh I would buy bombs at twenty five rupees or even try the magical bomb spot. Yep. Okay, I don't think we saw a door to the to the right there. No we did. Oh we did? Awesome. We yep. got a we got a path. We just need need a roar. Yeah. And at this point I think he's gonna be like Somewhere south? Maybe southwest? Yeah, maybe I don't in that think we got next to Zelda? Yeah, I, f I feel like the, there's a little bit of the northwest uh, east I don't think we've gotten our ears on, and, and just that little area right north of the starting spot. Mm hmm. Uh, you might not be able to buy lamp oil, but you can buy it. Northwest? Should we go to the northwest? I think Here's Angel going idea. ahead and killing off this room. This is going to be good for him. Yep, this will get him that Triforce. Nice double. Now he's gonna go try this room. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just you just need to bomb. It does bomb? There's, oh, and there's Ganon. He's just right there. I didn't hear the roar. Did you hear the roar? Nope. Okay, okay. It's not me. <laughs> there wasn't a shutter door in that room. I don't think either. I know that's that's the thing that'll mask the roar is if the shutter door happens, and of course yeah. the boss. And now the easy part, because, like, we've done all the hard stuff, and now we just have to kill Ganon. <laughs> yeah, Ganon's normally 15 HP, so this is just a normal fight. This is, yeah, this is just the fight. <laughs> Actually, it's not even really a normal fight, because I, I don't know that Saitan often has... How often... I mean, he does get the blue ring on occasion, but, like, he's perfectly comfortable doing this fight on, like, six hearts green tunic, so... And there's an immediate path into Zelda... We are going to game three, Sightown finishing with an official time of 1.46.04. GG's to Sightown. And game Everybody three... Gets... Game ahead. three can be any of the uh, the seeds uh, or settings that we had in the previous weeks of the of this tournament, so... See what they end up with. And everybody that voted under two and a half hours, uh, congratulations. And what, not even two hours. <laughs> yeah. I do believe Angel FM plays with the thing closed, so he might still be a little bit here. Alright, we'll get Sightown in here in just a second. Angel's on the right path to get the strike force out of eight, which is good. Yeah, I think it's one room down from here. One or two, yeah. No, it is one. Yeah. Yeah, it's as one long one, as he goes down, he's good. As long as he doesn't take the transport. Well, I think you're gonna clear the Gliok because Gliok is easy in this flag set. Yeah. That too. Like we have a side town. GG's. Can you hear us? Beauter. Oh, it's all masters. Hey, I thought sorry. it was like Oh no! Oh no, Angel. <laughs> uh, hey. Okay, can you hear us? I can now. Sorry about that, guys. Uh no worries. GG's first of all. 
Um, Thanks. I was, I, you know, there are people where I would ask what possessed you to go uh, max HP, but I feel like this kind of right up your alley and didn't really shock me that much. No, I, uh, he made me do what I hate the most, so if he was going to knock me out, he was going to be punished while he did it. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. What do you hate the most? Uh, um... Oh, the random percent tournaments. I hate them. With a okay. like a wild passion, <laughs> like possible ban and needed, possible this. Oh, let's figure out what to skip. And uh, so, so it wasn't even, that. it wasn't even that that it was uh, uh, that certain things rolled. It was just you not knowing. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, and like I hated the zero HP enemies. I hated like mm -hmm. it was just everything went the way that would just annoy the heck out of me. So mm -hmm. um, this one, you knew where everything was at. You knew where all the levels were. You knew where the white sword item was at. You couldn't, you couldn't like get lucky to find them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was just like, yes, let's do this because it's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah, but I am. I'm good. So one of the things that separated the two of you was uh, Angel FM full cleared level six, looking for the Triforce. Mm. And that's. Honestly, I think the only part where you guys really ended up having a large separation because elsewise, you both kind of did the things where you sat there and stabbed the enemies a jillion and a half times on average. Yeah, how how close is Angel right now? Angel's um, getting, about to get the Triforce out of eight. Yep, and then he has to do seven. But he's okay. got he's he got he had the bow out of eight a lot earlier than you did. Uh, in fact, we were we were a little. It was it was kind of interesting because we were a little concerned as to uh, whether or not you'd get that bow out of eight. Because uh, but oh, then I'm the getting... only the only dungeon you didn't full clear was six. Right. So what yeah, was what uh, was your reason for not staying in six? But you you full cleared every other dungeon. Yeah, good question. I um so at that point I still had five, seven, and eight left. Mm -hmm. Um. I still had three's Triforce, but I had five, seven, and eight items left. So right. my, my thought process was, I'm definitely full clear in five. I'll probably full clear eight. And if seven goes that way, that's fine. And mm -hmm. seven kind of went that way, because I did find the compass, but I only had, I think, ten rooms left yeah, when I found the compass. Left. So I was like, screw this, we're going to clear the item too. Mm -hmm. And then once I went up to eight, especially knowing it was that vanilla nine and you couldn't whistle to it, um, I was 100% going to clear that 8. And if the bow was in 6, so be it. That's fine. 6, mm. the Triforce, I had to go through like, I mean, y'all saw it, but I had to go through like 5 rooms that were ridiculously small enemies. And mm -hmm. um, yep. that was just brutal. I, if I could have went to 5 before 6, that would have been better, because at least I would have had a wand at that point. But, yep. um, yeah, that was... This is just as terrible as what I assumed it was gonna be. It was just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. It was pretty bad. Yeah, um, you know. And and when we were talking about whether or not you would stay in eight or go back to six, my argument was you never got the map to six. And if you watch this back, you'll see what that map was. And you, you didn't want to be in six any longer than you had to be. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. I. I can just tell you. I. I enjoy stupid combat. I can at least deal with it because mm -hmm. I know it's going to be stupid. But uh, I I did have a little bit of fun there at the beginning because I was like, I think it was twenty some minutes before I had the first Triforce. Yep. But it's just like, yep. yep I'm just going to get items, just power myself up a little bit. Yeah. Um, and it just kind of worked out. So. Yeah, I feel like you, I remember when you had the the, the Torneo seed, uh, it's flags that had kind of the mm -hmm. vanilla-ish setup and I and you did kind of the same thing in those where you would get your hearts and get your your white sword item and, and just get all those things and I kind of saw the same pattern here. Uh, we kind of keep it a little bit short but I do have one other question for you. Every time you've chosen a flag set you've always made the book useless. Yeah. You hate the book? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind the book. Uh, it's um, it probably just it's not like I hate zero HP enemies, and I hate random percent. Right, right, I right. I don't mind a book counting for something. Mm -hmm. um, but I did actually have to recheck my flags before <laughs> I got it, because I couldn't remember what I did. And uh, 
so a little bit shameful on my part. I couldn't remember what I picked, but uh, so whatever pause I had in that level three, that was because I was literally looking at the flag set and going, "Oh, what do they do again?" I I tried nice. to make the argument. I tried to make oh, the argument that fifth. I tried to make the argument that 15 HP enemies is actually easier to start in Swordless because you get a red candle than for free. Right. Instead of just yep. pure wood sword. <laughs> it, uh, All right. it gets more crazy. All right, now, of course, you're going to go to game three, and that's going to be the random uh, random set from uh, what you've played in the last few weeks. Um, good luck to you. We're, we Unfortunately, we're going to have to cut this short. There is another uh, race coming up. Um, so just... Anything else you want to add, and then we'll, we will get out of here and let the next group come in. Uh, yeah, I'll apologize to Speed Gaming for being a jerk. And then, um, <laughs> and to you all, too, thank you so much for spending time with us, watching us combat 15 HP keys. But um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't know what to expect next, and that's fine. Angel's a great runner, so I think we should have some fun. I think it'll probably be next week. Uh, mm -hmm. I think... He's out of town in the next few days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but either way, um, just want to say thanks for anybody watching the last couple nights and spending your evenings with us. I hope you all have a great day. All right. Thank you, Saitan. And GG's to you and GG's to Angel. And it will be a great game three uh, of two very worthy competitors. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for us. Uh, big thanks to Al Soa for joining me on commentary. Big thanks to uh, just Andy for doing the tracking. Um, uh, just keep an eye on the schedule, see when this next one is, and we'll see you then.